All right, this video is a look at another play that Devin DuVernay makes to help this team win football games. This is going to be his 43-yard punt re return uh, mid-third quarter against the Patriots in Week 3. Now, the Patriots have scored to open the third quarter to take a 20-14 lead. Ravens immediately answer to take a 21-20 lead, and then we get a stop. If you remember, there's a third and seven, and Matabike makes a sack on Mac Jones. There's a holding call on the offensive lineman responsible for guarding Matabike, so sets up a fourth and 12 uh, from their own 30 or 31-yard line. Now, I initially thought this was a wall. It's kind of like a semi-wall punt, <clears throat> and I'll show the difference uh, between what I'm talking about. The wall, the wall punt return can can morph or change depending on where the ball is punted. So for right now, let's just check take a look at where the ball is. It's in the middle of the field. And what you're going to pay attention to somewhat initially is what Riley Webb and Geno Stone do, number one, and the fact that we have a double team down here to the right. Now, this is Slater, who's a great special teams guy. Don't get me wrong. It's my contention that we typically run the wall to the side where we are double teaming uh, the gunner, double teaming the guy who's lined up at receiver. So I, I believe we were trying to run the wall to the right, and the ball is punted into the wall, which kind of makes it different, more difficult because you're getting all this flow into the position of where you're trying to run the wall. So just accept for a moment, and I may or may not be able to prove this during the course of the video, that we're trying to run the wall to this sideline. Since the ball is kicked closer to the sideline, you're getting natural flow from all of the New England players in that direction. Makes sense, right? As the ball is punted, someone for the offense is calling right, right, left, left, or whatever their call is. But as you get the end zone angle, when we come back to this, watch Webb and Geno Stone take off. Look, their back is turned. They're already taken off in this direction to set up. And you can see the ball hasn't even been punted yet. Somebody's got to check fake, and I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't surprise me at some point if this continues... Uh, if we don't end up getting a fake off our left side of the defense under certain circumstances. What I mean by those circumstances is if we're double teaming the gunner on our right and we continue to um, get out of here slightly early, and you'll see what I mean from the end zone angle, we may get faked on to our left or away from where the defender the, we're double teaming the gunner. All right, we're going to go over this in a little bit of detail later on, but... Um, couple of things to note, Webb and Stone, there they are set up. There's the double team on the gunner. I think you've got, you know, the makings of a wall here and here. And then the trail guy, this guy for the Patriots is doing a nice job of not letting himself get pinned inside. You can see the crease that's been created along the edge here. Duvernay's going to kind of snake his way through. Uh, this guy did a nice job, like I said, of not letting himself get pinned in. And you can see... We end up getting a nice block from the side there by uh, Tylen Wallace. All right, we're going to go now to some 2021 film. Uh, this is going to be the Chargers, third and seven, third and eight, 2021 game at home. We get a sack, so we force them to punt. We're going to fast forward a little bit. The video resolution will clean up some, so check out the circumstances we've got. We're double teaming the gunner on our left, the defense's left. <clears throat> There's Geno Stone. Obviously, we didn't have Riley Webb at this point. This is wall left. And when you get the end zone angle, some of it will make it a little bit more sense. Watch. So the difference, some of the differences here. The ball is punted to the down side of our screen, so the right side of our defense. The call was wall left. So what that does is look at the def look at the defenders. They're getting natural flow in the middle of the field or the middle third of the field, let's say. And the wall is designed to, to get the ball to the wall. That's the returner's job. Take the, take the ball to the wall. Your guys, whoever your point man is on the wall here, his job is take the wall to the ball. Sometimes you have to give ground to get to the wall. Now, we don't end up getting a big gain here. So you may say, well, Coach, why, why are you showing us this? I believe that the that what how it turned out Sunday against the Patriots, and that was a big return. Again, you know, it's we're down 21-20 at that point, and we end up scoring, I think, to go up, uh, or we're up 21-20, excuse me. We end up scoring to go up 28-20 to at that point, I believe. So check the wall out here. The way that it works, you've got, Defenders or blockers for the Ravens trying to force things inside, funnel everyone to the inside so that Duvernay can get to the sideline and have a clear path. Uh, Josh Oliver down here in the middle of the field has missed his block well back on the scroll earlier than where I had it paused there. 
And that's his defender, his man, is the guy who breaks it up. We're going to let this run a little bit. You see Stone again. Look, Stone is taking off to the defense's left, your right side of the screen. Why? Because the call was wall left. So very similar to what you saw him do um, in the Patriots game. And you can see he's taken off, back turned, you know, before the ball was punted. In the NFL, I think punts are are something that takes a while for people to confirm on film. No one wants to fake a punt and have um, have it get stopped, right? Especially on a fourth, I think it was fourth and 12, which was that Patriots play in the third quarter would have been a big, an awesome moment for us if they faked and didn't get it. So the wall as it develops, you can see very clearly here, you've got a line or a wall of defenders. There's Stone. There's another uh, guy. I, I think that's Harrison, but I could be wrong. And then Tylen Wallace. And, and we're going to backtrack here in a moment. Here is Oliver trying to track his man, and he's unable to do so because he lost him along, um, about, about 30 yards back near the line of scrimmage. You can see if his man is not there, Duvernay's got an opportunity to just go full speed and try to race down the sideline. As it is, it only ends up being a 13-yard return, so you may think it's inconsequential. So we'll track Oliver here in a moment. Not picking on him. This is play from 2021. So what you want to do a lot of times, you want to drive guys back. There's Oliver. He's driving 82 back. When In the process of doing that, sometimes you're going to lose people. You just are. That's just you're trying you're trying to drive people this way as far as you can. They're trying to slide out after blocking to one side. Luckily for Oliver, Oliver, his guy slides out away from the call side because remember Duvernay is going to try to take this ball to our left. The defense is left our right on the screen. Watch Oliver. This is just poor effort. You know, once you've lost your guy, where's the ball going to go, Josh? The ball is going to go here. Where do we need you? Go now. You know, but he's trying to stay in relationship with his man so that he can block him if he's the last man in pursuit. You can see we've got it set up amazingly. Uh, Oliver doesn't get to his guy. Touchdown if we get to it because Boykin is lining up the punter. So you're like, okay, coach, what, why are you describing this to me? So that's a wall to the wide side of the field. We had more field to deal with. All right. Now, this example, same game. I believe this is another wall, but it's going to be punted into the boundary, so closer. Duvernay's got less room to deal with. Look, you've got Stone setting up again. You look To me, it looks like you've got defenders leveraging you know, the sideline, so trying to push people here you know, to that direction so Duvernay can smoke up the sideline, right? But the problem is the ball was kicked into the wall, into the call side. When you get the end zone angle, you'll get an idea of a guy who Geno Stone kind of lets go. It's number 31. You just saw him flash across the screen. And then we'll get to the Patriots film from this year. <clears throat> All right, so watch Stone. Somebody's got to check fake, but you can see we're light here. We've got a returner. We've got a gunner on our, one guy blocking the gunner on our left and one guy blocking the gunner on our right. I mean, the ball hasn't been punted yet, and we're out of here. That's one of the things about the wall. You know, sometimes you can get faked on if your guys are leaving early. Uh, we haven't been faked on that I'm aware of in the last couple of years. If we keep leaving early like we showed in that Patriots game, and Riley Webb did a pretty good job, if you ask me, if we keep leaving a little bit early, I think we could get faked on. So a couple of things to mention here. Averett lost his guy. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Averett lost his guy. We were double-teaming that gunner. He lost him, so he just hung back, and he's going to end up trying to, you know, funnel people in this direction as well. You can see the leverage that Wallace is taking, the leverage that uh, Harrison is taking, so we're trying to set up the wall. That's my contention, but we're unable to do so in an efficient way in terms of space because the ball was punted into the call. So check out Stone and this guy right here, 31. Stone is going to go and pick up 54, who Tylen Wallace pins because he was taking a good, Tyler Wallace was taking a good angle. I'll pull this back so you can see it. Tylen Wallace is getting to the outside of, I think this is 54, and he's going to pin him this way. Geno Stone mistakenly goes to 54. He should be setting up and going to 31. If he does that, Duvernay is snaking down this right sideline, and then we've got, I think, one defender to beat, possibly, unless Harrison is able to pin him inside as well. So that's a, that's a quick, short, and dirty explanation of the wall. Hopefully you guys can see my point. If we're able to get this guy blocked, which I think Geno Stone probably should have, Duvernay is to the wall and probably out the gate. Or, or has a chance in terms of that last defender. Somewhat similar, if you ask me, to this play here, except 
Riley Webb. Now we've got two guys. Riley Webb and Geno Stone do a fantastic job of setting up. So we're doing a great job here battling this gunner, number one. There's Webb and Stone setting up. Duvernay catches the ball. He's bringing it to the call side. Now, this wall looks different than the one against the Chargers. You know, against the Chargers, we neatly had spaced out guys, something like that. And then Boykin was waiting back here, you know, to go get the punter last. So we had that, like, nice, neat spacing because Duvernay caught it here and had to kind of retreat to get to the call. This time, the ball is kicked to the wall. So it's going to happen faster. It's not going to be as neat. Nice job by Stone and then Webb on one of the guys. We've taken out Slater. Multiple good blocks happening here. One of them by Tylen Wallace. I'll try to reverse track this, but it's difficult for me to track with this player. I think it kind of freezes up some. Might also be my CPU. We're riding the guy out here. We get to the right shoulder of this guy and ride him out at that angle. And then we got one guy, Justice Hill, for the punter. And we've got closing defenders here that Justice Hill goes back for, smartly letting Duvernay deal with the punter by himself. We just don't have enough room to, to finish it. I know I paused this a bunch, so I'm going to let this run a little bit. I apologize if it makes it difficult to watch. If it does, let me know in the comment section. Wall punt return. Uh, you know, it's something that we always looked at as a guaranteed 20, 25 yards if we could get the ball to the wall. And if you had a special athlete back there like that, then you had the opportunity to take it to the house. You can see Riley Webb was checking fake, and now he's turned and got out of here. Geno Stone has turned and got out of here. We'll let it run again so you can see Riley Webb. He's checking fake right now, but Geno Stone has taken off because that's the call side. The call side is wall right. Now, we could, we could be looking at a fake situation to this side if we're going to set up with two gunners to our right and Justice Hill is going to do what he just did right there. We could be looking at a fake to our right eventually. You can see the scene that I believe is trying to be created with Riley Webb, with Geno Stone, even though they end up double teaming the same guy. I think this is Oliver here. And then again, look at the leverage side of, that Wallace is trying to maintain. Now, this... This tight end right here, 85 for the Patriots, I think he knows, what, I think he understands what the call is. He sees us setting up. He's made a good read. So he's trying to get inside of the wall, or I guess outside of the wall, actually, is the right way to say it. And he's trying to defeat the blocking scheme. Wallace switches sides right here and then drives him out of bounds so Duvernay can make the cutback. Hopefully, I explained that well and showed it to you guys. I know I pause a lot. So we'll let this happen again. This is Wallace here. This tight end's trying to defeat the scheme, and then Wallace is going to switch sides on him and then drive him out of bounds and try to make sure he gets his head in front, doesn't block him in the back. And it's close because he's definitely got his hands on his back, if you ask me. Nice job by Welch here as well. We almost take this one to the house. Devin DuVernay is having an amazing season. Lamar is playing fantastic. That goes without saying. Bateman is dangerous as hell every time he touches the ball. Uh, our offense has big play capability. Mark Andrews is... You know, he's Mark Andrews. Devin DuVernay is, if you ask me, in some ways just as important as all of those guys because the collection of things that he gives us. He's got three third-down touchdown catches already in 2022. I, I find that to be amazing. I don't remember any other guys on this in this franchise recently other than Mark Andrews making third-down touchdown catches. You know, you talk about those guys on third down who can keep the chains going. Devin DuVernay appears to be one of those guys. The only difference is he's he's not keeping the chains going on third down. You know, he's converting and beating people for touchdowns. Uh, if you have, if you enjoy my content, first of all, please consider you know, subscribing to the channel. If you really enjoy the content and you want to help me be able to create more content and turn this into a solo gig, then, you know, please consider joining my Discord or supporting me on YouTube. Uh, for YouTube, you can do $2 or $5 a month. Discord is $5 a month. You, you, excuse me, Patreon is $5 a month. You can get into the Discord, which is about 67 people at this point. Ravens fans can discuss the game live um, in, a, in a secure community, meaning you're, there's no troll. You're not subject to any trolls. Um, unless someone pays $5 to join my Discord just to go in there and troll, at which point I'll just kick them out. But if you've considered supporting me in that way or you've thought about how can I support um, coaching and, and creating more content, this will be one way to do so. Give me more uh, availability in terms of creating more revenue for me and my family. 
Uh, appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you enjoy the con if you enjoy the way I broke this down, let me know. If you think I missed some elements of the punt returns, let me know as well. I suspect that it's the same call. Guy, we're just adjusting the scheme depending on whether the ball is kicked away from the wall, so away from the call or to the call, into the call. So the first one against the Chargers that I showed you the big return or the 13 yard return, I think the call was wall left. I think this call against the Patriots was wall right. And if the ball had been kicked wide to our left, the defense's left, I think we would have had a better opportunity to see as fans and, and people are trying to analyze the game, a better opportunity to see the nice spacing of the wall, the guys in the wall trying to pin the Patriots defenders to the inside, let Duvernay get that clear space. Uh, some people may disagree with me, but I think this is just good coaching by our special teams and good adjustment by our players and recognizing the situation that the call was wall right and the ball was kicked into the right-hand side. So we've got to adjust the way we block it a little bit because it's going to happen faster and, and DuVernay's not going to retreat at all. He's going to try to hit the sideline right now and make one cut and score. Dangerous player, multiple you know, multiple tool weapon, if you ask me, in the returning game. He's obviously got a kick return for a touchdown. He's got three touchdown catches. He damn near had a punt return for a touchdown. I think Devin DuVernay is playing at an incredibly high level. Andrews and Bateman are as well, you know, obviously. But I think Devin DuVernay is right there in terms of the weapons we have. And I just like would like to see him recognized as such and continue on, especially uh, given that he had a concussion apparently last week against the Dolphins, came back in this game, had a huge third down touchdown catch again, correct me if I'm wrong, if it was on third down, and then a 43-yard punt return that he damn near took to the house. Appreciate, appreciate you guys' time. Please leave a like on the video and consider you know, sharing it on social media if you think other Ravens fans would enjoy this content.